Hello and welcome back to this multiple part series of modelling Shelby Mustang. Um, so we're back at uh, stretching the model again, another layer, um, using the, again the kind of just dragging them out, offsetting the points. Early on, uh, this is kind of a, a thing that has to be done on a car, certainly. Um, what you've got to remember is that on a car, out of like the sharpest or the most rounded parts are between the side panel and the top panel, or the side panel and the rear panel. It's not actually along the center of it, obviously. So, like a bonnet is, well, it's not perfectly flat, but relatively flat. So, up until that point, there's a lot more heavy tweaking um, involved. Um, also, uh, with the modifying kind of drag tool, there are multiple tools to it. You can rotate. Um, there's a thinning tool, a kind of uh, a radial tool. Um, just to experiment with these because uh, honestly, they're they're just very um, difficult to explain. But if you look on screen, you can see I'm dragging the up arrow here, so that's just a move in a vert uh, move in a linear like kind of movement. Um, but you can see all the little icons there, and so the square means I could drag it up or to the right. Um, and then those little corners and the little lines um, do different jobs. But honestly, it would be a lot quicker if you just try those things. Um, I don't tend to use them too much. Um, the other tools, the rotate one I do, but um, the little kind of uh, lines around that square, they do things and I just don't use them personally. Um, well, occasionally, but not regularly. Um, So again, yeah, just stretching these points. I'm trying to get a rough kind of, um, I'm getting a lot closer, if you've noticed, to the edge of the car. Because um, the first the first section was offset quite visibly. And now I'm getting closer and closer to that. Um, because it's safe to assume that the image is taking basically the furthest points on those edges of the, of the actual car and the image they're the, probably the most central points of the car um, so you can see the, where the uh, bonnet kicks out the most that will be in the center um, so yeah just dragging for kind of a rough estimation um, it's uh, I mean this is I know this looks kind of time consuming this isn't too bad I mean you can just put some music on and kind of drag these away they're, they're quite simple um, and then I think that's oh, I do a couple of edits to the back, um, but yeah, it's it's this isn't too bad. Um, this this pro this part up until now has been fairly quick. Um, so yeah, just trying to get them close. I mean, they they don't have to be perfect. I, I, like I reiterate, like all the final kind of um, positions are are decided on much later. Um, so I don't know if you just noticed that, but I used a different modify tool there with the dragging of the circle. And that just helped me achieve that shape. But like I said, I don't usually use the other tools. Um, I usually just drag the points or the lines. You can actually drag those whole kind of panels. Um, but yeah, uh, typically the points are just the easiest way to do it easiest way to picture as well like in your head you're just dragging one physical entity you're not dragging like a huge amount of space um, so I think I'm happy with that now so this is what I was on about um, in my last video this I mean I mess up here but this is the quicker way to um, select the kind of new layer you've just done so you just turn it on a different angle and then you just drag a selection box and that will select all the lines and points see right there rather than going around and holding shift and clicking everything 
way way quicker to do it that way um i think at this point my brain was starting to function um but yeah just just doing that is is so much so much quicker so much more convenient and here now that we're reaching the kind of flatter sections of the car i'm just alt dragging new layers and lots of them um because i know that this part is there's less curves um yeah a little bit of a madness went on there but yeah this is kind of the the way you do it you don't um you don't uh, you don't do the kind of where you're sitting in the car until you've actually built the car up more um i mean you can do i've tried it it's way more difficult it's easier to just assemble the car if you assume that everything above that window line is kind of um off limits until until the car is like an actual solid model um where it's like symmetrical and and looks a lot more like a car like it, well, it would look like a convertible but um yeah i don't touch that kind of area yet so now this is kind of the this gets a bit finer now the kind of tweaking i'm selecting those dots and i and because i know that the center of the car or the actual like it the car and the image will be the furthest part away to the edge i'm kind of stepping it out as i've done before but much more minutely i don't want it to become obvious um but yeah that's kind of what has to be done here um and again until you see the car assembled as like a, a, a well put together as kind of a solid body you really you don't know how this is going to look you think it looks right from this angle you look at it from another angle and you hate it i can promise you that um and the truth is there's i don't think you'll, you'll ever be perfectly happy with, with what comes out from it but you've got to kind of say enough is enough i've done enough i mean obviously not yet there's so much more to do at the moment but but there comes a time where you just have to say that's it like i could keep on tweaking i keep on tweaking for literally hours and you know th there kind of comes a point of just diminishing returns so yeah so now here the bonnet's kind of kicked out a bit more and this is quite a good um bit to show you when you can kind of experience grief with this um so i'm dragging this and i'm hoping that it's just naturally going to follow that that lovely shape of the car I mean, you always hope that when you drag these lines, it's going to do that. And you know in your your head and in your heart of hearts that it's definitely not going to happen. So you can see how it's bulging up on the top, which I don't want, obviously. Um, and which is frustrating, but you've just got to expect this sort of thing. It's not going to naturally shape the way you want it to. Um, so just kind of be prepared. Uh, and so at first I'm testing, okay, how do I flatten this? I know many ways of doing it. And the simplest way first is to see if I can just modify it a point close to it to, to change the shape. And obviously that's not worked here. Um, but it's, you've kind of got to go through kind of some steps to, um, to get to, uh, to kind of fix this thing. Um, what you don't want to do is see how it's set up now. Don't keep on adjusting that. Just uh, leave those bits. Go somewhere else on the model. Okay, quickly. This is the insert edge tool. Um, I'm going to pause this video here a sec. I'm back. I didn't pause it. Um, so here I'm inserting an edge. You do this by selecting uh, a line. Then you use the insert edge tool, which is below modify and then you can add kind of new entities you can select as many edges as you want or or as few as you need and so here you can see I've added this new kind of line to it and the reason I do that is I've created myself more entities more draggable entities to so that I can model this shape in a more refined way um, because I wasn't happy with how how it was turned out at the front with the bonnet I wanted something much much closer and so by inserting an edge you're basically kind of creating a new set of entities that just make your life a, a lot easier um, 
I mean, what I was saying in the last few videos is true, that you want as few kind of lines and entities in a shape as possible. But if you start to come to a point where it's not creating the shape you want, then inserting an edge and creating some more entities for you to drag is the right thing to do. So see here, it's just not right at that front. That curves up. I don't want that. So what I'm going to do is insert another edge so I can create a much sharper curve um, because it just it doesn't look right at all. Um, and this is this is important on kind of the main features in your car. Sometimes you can get away with hiding these sort of things. Like if it's near the, I don't know, if there was something near the chassis of the car, people, people aren't really looking down there. So you can kind of get away with more things, but right at the front of the car, you know, this is definitely a place that for first, uh, first person is going to look. It's first, uh, first place a person's going to look is at the front of the car. So I've got to make sure that's right. So I do that by selecting some line and then inserting an edge. And from, actually, I'm not sure I'm there yet. Sorry. Um, but yeah, just tearing tearing those up um, for the center but yeah I'm really not happy with what's going on at the front it looks like a uh, it's like a beluga whale or something with a weird lump on its head um, so I'm gonna add a new line I have to um, like I said before it's just in that modify toolbar that I'm already kind of selected in but you get the drop down list it, gives you plenty of things that you can do um but insert edge is the one i want so first of all you have to kind of select an edge or a group of edges um typically it's a group of edges when you're working on a model this big if you're working on something smaller it might just be the one um but yeah selecting that and then you can move that kind of line between anywhere between the the, the line that you've selected from and the new uh, and the next kind of edge um so yeah um like you can't go beyond the next um beyond the next kind of section so it's somewhere between that the the line you've selected and the next one along um if that makes any sense um but yeah uh so now i can create a much more accurate shape see how it's I can kind of start to reduce that ballooning that was going on, which I absolutely despised. Um, and I can do that now that I've created myself some more entities that I can move about. Um, so yeah, definitely, definitely a very important tool to be able to use. Um, and I would just recommend experimenting with it. Just try it out on a cube, add some more edges um, and just drag them and see what happens. Um, like for something like this, it's yeah, vital. Um, but look, I've taken away that horrible lump at the top and I'm much closer to the shape of the car now, which is what I was aiming for. I mean, I can see closely that those lines that kind of stretch out, they're all zigzagged all over the place, but the general kind of shape is, is sort of coming together now. Um, and then it starts to go black and white for some reason, I don't know why. I, I think the video capture while I'm modeling is is putting my computer under a lot of stress so um, I don't think it goes black and white too often but um, yeah just in case something like that happens again just understand <laughs> there we go um, but yeah it's just it's just the computer it's not the video's problem um, but yeah so now I'm at a kind of point where I'm happy with this and I'm kind of ready to move on to the next step um, that's it.